This year, David Tennant's Doctor Who made a big splash on BBC America. And here in sunny San Diego, California, the Doctor Who team are ready for day one of Comic-Con, the biggest sci-fi convention in the world. They're here to celebrate Doctor Who's success stateside. This is where we are, San Diego Comic Con. Well, you've got your badge. I've got my badge. Why have you not got your badges? You'll be flying out. Because I'm being interviewed by Confidential. Oh. So I'm being myself. Oh. I'm, oh. I'm Comic Con professional, it says here. And we're here <laughs> doing a bit of uh, meeting the American press, basically, aren't we? And the American people. And the American people. Yeah. And tomorrow, though, we're doing a panel. Which basically means we go into a big room with lots of people and get asked 4, questions. 4,000 people is the capacity of the room, yeah. Right. Comic-Con is a mecca for those who delight in science fiction and fantasy. For over 120,000 fans of everything pop culture, Comic-Con is the ultimate stage for a billion dollar industry. The fans here have the power to make or break a big production. So, how will Doctor Who fare at Comic-Con? The fans, like the costumes, are out in force. So the signs are promising. Hello! To our friends across the pond! Hello. Yay! It is a myth. People say Doctor Who's unheard of over here. And it's not. It's, it's mm. known, you know? Mm. It's, it's not a monolith like it is back home. But it's very <laughs> well known. You just describe your show as a monolith. monolith. <laughs> It is a monolith. It's Doctor Who. Come on. Though we love our monolith, the world of sci-fi is tough to compete in. And when it comes to the big cult brands, yeah. the Americans dominate. <laughs> yeah! Comic-Con conveys the massive appetite sci-fi fans possess. The crowds are growing, and here a Russell T. Davis signature alone is a collector's item. Now it's time to test the best of British sci-fi on the Comic-Con crowds. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Russell T. to phone the Doctor Who production office in Cardiff right now, where it's three o'clock in the morning, and you're gonna scream at them. So when I say hello from San, from San Diego, you say hello. Here we go. Hello from San Diego. <laughs> it's the Doctor himself. It's David. <laughs> stage diving. <laughs> but unfortunately, that only to be another day. Um, right, tonight, uh, you're going to see the American premiere, the legal American premiere, <laughs> of Planet of the Dead. <laughs> 60 minutes of high death Doctor Who fun. <laughs> Starring Michelle Ryan, the bionic woman herself. <laughs> and some tall, skinny Scottish bloke as well. <laughs> it's on tomorrow night. It premieres, as you see in these parts, it premieres tomorrow night. Awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. I love America. You see, premieres of awesome. I'm taking awesome back to London with me. <laughs> it, it premieres tomorrow night at 8, 8 p.m. on BBC America! Yeah. So we're very excited. Hopefully we'll see some of you at the panel tomorrow. Not so enthusiastic, no? Here we go. 
Alright, so that's what you're going to see in a minute, but before that, uh, before Planet of the Dead, you're going to see something else, and I'm going to ask my lovely friend here to tell you about that. John Barman, ladies and gentlemen. Kiss a bit, no. <laughs> I've slightly gone all flustered, I really have. <laughs> I've been waiting for that for years. Thanks, David. <laughs> but here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, just to announce, episode five of Children of Earth, it's Torchwood. It's day two, and David and Russell have only 20 minutes before a live interview on San Diego TV. Well, I'd like to say that I've been here for 12 years, uh, working the 10 o'clock news. Um, I'm not even working today. This is the first time with all the guests that have come through that I've ever come into. Oh, I'm delighted. Oh, yeah, I'm delighted. I think you're both fantastic. Thank you. Um, but who would have thought that the best thing on American television would be actually produced across the pond? <laughs> And I really just love, oh, love the show. Thank oh, you, so Very good to hear. We love so it. Yeah, it's such a good time. No, you're good. Good morning. Very well. Hello. I have no idea. This has been the biggest interview of um, all time. There are so many excited people right now, including most of the employees here at San Diego <laughs> Well, it is television's longest-running sci-fi series, Doctor Who, who many of you may be familiar with, is a program that depicts the adventures of a mysterious alien time traveler known as Doctor Who. He travels in his space and time ship. Well, now that series is being somewhat reinvented, you could say. The man who plays the Doctor is David Tennant, and the executive producer is Russell T. Davis. They are both here live in our studio and i can't tell you what an audience it's brought we have so many people so excited to see you guys this morning thank you so much for coming here and starting your day with great us. pleasure to be here thank yeah. you thank I'm you yeah. first let's talk about what is happening right now in these episodes so you know people who are coming up uh, tonight on planet of the dead it's a brand new story and if you haven't seen it before you can watch it from scratch actually and this this it. episode is a, is a really good stepping on point i've okay. never seen it it's been running since 1963 it doesn't matter you can start tonight. Well, one last thing I want to give to your panel today. People headed down to Comic Con can possibly yes. see you, maybe. Yeah, at 10 o'clock, there's okay. a Doctor Who panel. So right after the show. We're taking over. We're coming here and we're taking over. Good it's gradually. Thank you. It's Good for you. Nice. Well, thank you so much. On behalf of all San Diego 6 2, thank you so much for stopping by. A lot of fans here. So, really congratulations on all of your work, you guys, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Corey. Sure. Thank you. Thank Excellent. You. Oh, Look at that. Come on. That's the way. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Don't that's say what I'm doing. Super cool. Thanks, anyway. Travis. Hey, you guys. Take care, Travis. Love you, Jimmy. That's brilliant. brilliant. Awesome. Thank you, big man. Okay. Now it's time for the main event. Can Doctor Who make an impression? Hey, Ross, what are you about to do? We're about to go on stage and talk to 5,000 people. Um, about uh, the finale of Doctor Who. How do you feel? Terribly. I'm nerve-wracked. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide behind the three of you and, um, oh, and, and have fun. The usual suspects are all here and making their way to the front. You should come to America more often. And in this time, not in the past, but the future, or whatever. <laughs> In the auditorium, there's an army of American sci-fi fanatics. It's showtime. David Tennant.
love you too. They told us that nobody knows Doctor Who in America. Uh, hello, thank you all for coming. We do have the very first little teaser trail of the finale of David's Tenth Doctor. I think we should move into that right at the top so that you can see a little glimpse of what is to come. It is said that in the final days of planet Earth, everyone had bad dreams. Obviously, this, uh, this is kind of an apathetic crowd. Uh, <laughs> can you give us a, some sense of uh, the, the cultural impact of this show in, in Britain and, and what it meant uh, or might not have meant to you uh, growing up um, in, a, in a Doctor Who world? Because here it's, a, it's a, something that you go to a cable station to find. And in, in, in your country, it's... Uh, it's a Saturday night mm. TV event. Mm. Uh, well, it certainly was when, when we were all kids as well. And it's something that I grew up obsessed with, really. Uh, so it's very strange to now be sitting here uh, at 38 um, in it. It's, its impact has got kind of overwhelming. You go into a supermarket and it's, your face is on a cake and <laughs> T-shirts and children's pants it's sort of <laughs> uh, which isn't something they prepare you for at drama school um but all that side of it is is slightly overwhelming and and difficult to really get objective about it it's it's hard to really feel how important it is to people which is why it's great to come here and show you that trailer that we're so excited about and hear that great response because it's it's because we love making this show so much frankly america it's your job now to go out there, we want this country to be like that now. We want the children's pants and the cakes and everything. Go yes. out there and spread the word. <laughs> Tell people. Um, I'm going to introduce Craig Glenday. He's the editor-in-chief of Guinness World Records. And he's got something to say. Hello, thank you. Based on things like DVD sales, book sales, Downloads, iPlayer downloads, illegal downloads. Mm. <laughs> and its longevity, we've realized that Doctor Who is in fact probably the most, not probably, it is the most successful sci-fi show on TV. Full stop. So I'm gonna give this to Russell, so well done. And well done for bringing it back and just, The most successful science fiction.